What's up everybody, this is Saber, and today I'm starting a new series where I will be building this. Now this is the Lionheart, and it is my first truly big Star Maid build. Now I've been playing this game for a long time, I've done a lot of reviews, um, I've done quite a few builds, but they've all been fairly small, actually really small for a lot of them, or they've been planetary based, um, but this is going to be my first truly big uh, combat ship build. Uh, I did the turtle which was entirely utilitarian, so that doesn't really count for something like this. But this one's going to be very combat ready. Uh, it's going to be kind of a multi-purpose ship because I'm going to have a lot of room for the interior. Um, so I'm going to be able to do kind of like a colonization sort of ship, uh, but then also have it be a combat ship where uh, you could almost think of it like, if you're familiar with the series, Battlestar Galactica. Um, not necessarily in... Um, it's a military ship retrofitted for um, hauling a bunch of people around, but it's kind of built with both purposes in mind because I want it to be, you know, really combat oriented. But then also, I'm going to do a lot of interior stuff um, for carrying a large amount of people inside of here. Basically, what I wanted to do was walk you guys through my build process, kind of like how I did with the turtle. So um, I started off with framing, and I'm about 80% through uh, the framing of this thing as far as just the exterior goes. The one main thing that I have left to do is going to be the engines. Um, as you can see, I've got four really big main cannons up here. Uh, those are going to be long range and then penetration AMCs. Um, I think the long range ones are going to be up here, and then penetration will be down there. And then these little pods over here to the side, these will be for missiles. So those will extend way back into here, um, and they should, pack, they should pack a pretty good punch. And then back here, I'm going to have some engines coming out to uh, one larger, one smaller, as you can see framed up there. And then in the back here, I'm going to have, I think, five engines. Um, I'm going to have one really big one, and then a couple on either, on either side, um, kind of just slant it in. It's, I'm still working on this part. This is going to be um, what I'm going to have a little bit of trouble with, is figuring out this back area. But for the interior, I've got a hangar on the bottommost deck, which is going to be in here, so I'll be able to build a shuttle or maybe a few different ships, I don't really know yet. And then it's a split hull design that goes all the way up here. And then these are kind of like armor plates that uh, cover the uh, main cannons. But yeah, then I've got, oh, how many decks is it? Six, seven decks, something like that. Uh, they're going to be on the inside. And then this up here is going to be the bridge, probably on this deck, maybe extending down to this one as well. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through the process so far. So the original idea I had was actually for a ship, or sorry, a bridge that just kind of looked like this, where it's, it's glass extending all the way up and then over the top as well. And then that kind of grew into um, this kind of down here. And then I just kind of came up with the rest of it. Um, I started off with a sketch. And my sketch started with the bridge, which is where the idea all started. So then after that, I just started sketching and just kind of let the ship grow from there. Um, so if you ever have an idea for a ship, and uh, even if it's just a small part of a ship, then you know sketch it out or find some way to kind of um, put it down where you can uh, let it expand on its own. You know, like whether it's starting it in game or even just a quick sketch on a piece of paper, like that helps more than you would possibly think. But uh, yeah, so it's extended pretty quickly into being quite a large ship. And it, I meant for it to be a big ship from the start, but I think it turned out even bigger than I thought that it would. So it is a 550 meter long ship. In fact, I'll just go ahead and get the dimensions now. 550 meters long and 245 wide. So by far the longest ship that I, or sorry, the biggest ship I've ever made. But um, yeah, this is going to be the first stage of it. And so I'll go ahead and make this video for you, video for you guys, kind of like how I did with the turtle. And then as I get to progressive stages, um, then I will continue to make more videos for it. I may actually, while I'm working on the engines, I may make a couple, or well, do a quick scene or two um, within this video or the next, either one, just to kind of, kind of help you guys see my process for it uh, in case you ever struggle in a similar situation. Because right now I'm in a bit of a tough spot because I don't know um, what I want to do for this area. 
so it's it's all just kind of coming together as i build it so um i mean that's kind of just how you, have, how you have to do it sometimes but uh yeah i wanted to go ahead and make you guys aware of this project and so you can keep a lookout for it and definitely wanted to include you guys in the build process so uh if you guys have any ideas or suggestions already then uh, feel free to let me know i've got a lot of the internals kind of hammered out in my head but there's still several decks that i'm still trying to work out so other than that i think that about does it for me but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy it and like i said feel free to leave any suggestions or ideas below and subscribe if you aren't already that way you can see the progression of the ship as it goes and other than that i think that about covers it thanks a lot and have a good one all right so a couple of quick things that i wanted to add it in that i wanted to add in um was just to kind of give you because i totally spaced on this um just to kind of explain where i started with this actually um since you weren't there for the beginning and i didn't do a video like you know starting the build which would have been kind of boring because it's just me placing blocks um but i wanted to go ahead and tell you like i don't usually do this for ships although it's become more common for me now because it just seems to work for me better uh, but what I actually did to start the ship off was I started at the core, and then I've got a bit of a plan for a uh, reactor, which this will be built right into. Um, so then I knew from there, uh, I, from my sketch, I had kind of a rough scale set out. I mean, it wasn't anything super accurate or anything, but um, just gave me a kind of an idea. So then I actually started setting down the uh, the pathway there, and then built up the ramps because I don't want to just do elevators, like gravity elevators, although I will have some. Um, but I wanted to have ramps as well, just in case, you know, something goes wrong or whatever. Um, so then I actually built it up to about the correct dimensions up here and then expanded my bridge from there. So that was basically how I got started on it. Um, so, I mean, if that works for you, then great. If not, then that's fine too. Uh, I know people like Dalmont just set down a core and then put it roughly in the center of their ship and then just go to town. But I, I myself like to have um, some idea of how the... Uh, how the interior is going to flow so I, I just like doing it that way because um, then the proportions are right and so i don't have to come back and when i'm you know t tens of hours into my build uh, and figure out that the course in the wrong place and then have to move it with sm edit or you know something like that or just be stuck with it so um, i just kind of like to do it like that because then i know for sure it's going to be where i want it and i can just build my ship from that rough interior so that's how I started this thing. Um, but then also for all the circles, in case you don't know about this, um, I use a thing, it's called Plots, which is originally from Minecraft. But it's a, uh, it's a shape generator. Well, it's not a generator, it's, um, well, it kind of is a generator. Basically, it's an online tool where uh, you can put in, if you want to do a sphere or a circle or, sorry, an ellipse or a bunch of other different shapes. And then it'll actually, uh, you can use the tools there to decide how, like, why do you want it? And then it'll just lay it out in front of you so you can actually see, you know, where you need to put the blocks. So I'll definitely link that down below. So I just wanted to give you guys that little insight before I started on these engines. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in on it, but I will catch you guys later.